Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am here with a scrap lift this week of Jen Scow. And so I chose a layout of hers that works with some of the Felicity Jane kits. And I'm using up some of my um, older kits here. And so a lot of this is going to be very similar to the original layout from her because I really, really liked this design. And I had the perfect photo to go with it. Um, but I am going to make some changes that kind of make the layout my own. I did start in one direction and end up in a completely different, well, not completely different, but slightly different direction. And so I left that in here so you can see kind of what direction I went in, what, ha what went wrong, and then how I fixed it. So I have taken my 12 by 12 background page, and it's just a piece of white cardstock. And I've torn a little spot on the bottom right. And then I've gone ahead and I'm taking my crushed coral uh, textures from Shimmers and I added those beneath that little torn area as well as up kind of by where my the top of my photo would be. And then I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and work on some mats for behind my photo. So I've already fussy cut all of those flowers out of one of the Felicity Jane papers and these are the same flowers that Jen used in her layout. Um, her layout went with a color scheme that was kind of greens and yellows and so instead of yellows I'm going to do greens and pinks. So I'm pulling a whole bunch of different pattern papers from mainly from January and February Felicity Jane kits and I'm creating a bunch of layers behind my photo. And so I have some that are pinks and some that are greens and I've kind of layered them all up the way that I want them to be. And then I'm grabbing my tiny attacher and stapling all those layers together rather than going back and trying to glue them all perfectly where I want them. And then I'm going to put my photo on some dimensional like fun foam adhesive so that it does stand up off of those photo mats just a little bit. And then I'm going to work on arranging all of my flowers over on this left side. So this is kind of the same element that Jen used um, on the edge of her photo. So she, when she fussy cut these flowers, she left a little bit of a green border, and I really like that because this is a photo from my daughter's first day of middle school at the like new preparatory academy side at our school. And so she had a change in uniform, and now they're in these like hunter green and plaid skirts. And so the flowers with that green border were perfect for this particular photo. So this is just my daughter and her best friend on the first day of school. So getting ready to go to classes for the first time and figure out this whole middle school thing. So I ended up not liking that crushed coral um, textures on there at all. I wanted something that was a little more subtle. So I recut a different sheet of that kind of grid paper and backed it on the black cardstock. And then I'm going to go in with my watercolors and my water brush and just add some pink that's very, very subtle. So I just watercolored that top area and then right underneath where my um, pattern paper mat is going to go. And then I did some splatters around both of those as well as that little torn area. And then I'm going to lay that off to dry and grabbed a bunch of Ellie Studio and Felicity Jane stamp sets. And I am pulling out a few different phrases that are going to work. So uh, Jen had used that Ellie Studio kind of date stamp as part of her title element, so I'm going to do the same thing. She had stamped hers right directly on the background, but instead of doing that, I stamped it on that little tag that you see up kind of in the top of the screen. And then I am also going to stamp um, Outfit of the Day in that little pink banner um, because I thought that was really fitting for this layout being their first day of school and the first day in these new fancy uniforms. So something that I decided to do that Jen did not do in her layout is create this little pocket down in the bottom right that's going to kind of look like these flowers are climbing or falling out of it. And so that was just kind of an element that I added on my own to kind of make this page my own as well as some of those extra little black accents because that is if you watch my channel you know that pops of black and um, my color is kind of something that I often do on my layouts. And so I fussy cut those little pieces, the tags and the bow, and then that little heart out of um, the sticker sheet. And this was for the London collection from Felicity Jane. And then I am going to use the same title element that Jen used where it just says, you got this. So I'm just kind of layering up how I want those letters to be stacked at this point. 
And I did make my photo mat a little bit smaller than hers, so you're going to see I don't have quite as much empty space, so I'm kind of adjusting those letters. And that was because I wanted to have that little pocket of flowers down um, in that bottom right corner. But I didn't want it to be right on the bottom of the page. Um, so then I went ahead and added a little bit more stamping underneath that title that just says the start of something amazing. And I am going to do a little bit of journaling underneath that. And then I've grabbed some of the puffy uh, heart stickers. And these are also from Felicity Jane. And I'm going to scatter a few of those hearts kind of around my layout. And I am going to come back with my Tim Holtz phrase stickers in the black with the white lettering. And I'm going to add a few of those in different spots around my layout. So down by the flowers in the bottom, it's going to say, and so the adventure begins. Today is full of possibilities and use your wings. And then up underneath August, it says, be brave and be amazed. And then I'm going to add two more underneath my photo that just say, make today count and own your dreams. And then I'm going to add my finishing details, which is always my Spiegel Mom Scrap Sequin Mixes. So I am pulling the black ones from Black Tie Event. And then I am also going with Fairy Garden, which has kind of the greenish turquoise color and then those little tiny flowers that are a very pale pink. And those really mimic my watercolor that I did on that background. And so those were a perfect match for this page. And that is basically going to do it. So it was super intimidating uh, scrap lifting a page of Jen Scow because she has a very unique and amazing style. Um, but I am happy with how this layout turned out. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my process and how I kind of change things halfway through. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!